i.e. LTSSA question. Some people believe that one-on-one -on -one lessons are better for learning while others think that group lessons are superior. Discuss both the views and give your own opinion. Answer. It is considered by some that education is best done in private sessions, while there are others who think that group lessons are better. I am of the opinion that both approaches have their merits, depending on the context and individual preferences. On the one hand, there is a prevailing belief that one-on-one -on -one lessons offer a more personalized and effective learning experience. Proponents of this approach argue that individualized instruction allows educators to tailor their teaching methods to suit the unique needs and learning styles of each student. For example, in the case of a struggling math student, a one-on-one -on -one tutor can adapt the teaching pace and style to address the specific challenges the student faces, resulting in more effective learning. This ensures that learners receive the specific attention and guidance required for optimal academic progress. On the other hand, the second perspective advocates for group lessons, asserting that there are benefits to collaborative learning. In group settings, students can engage in discussions, exchange ideas, and learn from their peers. For instance, in a group science project, students have the opportunity to share their individual research findings, leading to a collective understanding of the topic. This social interaction fosters communication and teamwork skills, which are valuable in various aspects of life, including future careers where collaboration is crucial. Group lessons also expose students to diverse perspectives and create a dynamic learning environment, preparing them for a world where cooperation and understanding among diverse groups are essential for success. In my opinion, the choice between one-on-one -on -one and group lessons depends on the subject matter, the learning objectives, and the individual's preferences. Certain subjects, like music or language, may benefit from one-on-one -on -one instruction to address specific weaknesses. Conversely, group lessons can be advantageous for developing interpersonal skills and gaining exposure to different viewpoints. To conclude, the effectiveness of one-on-one -on -one or group lessons depends on the context and the learner's goals. A combination of both approaches might be the ideal solution, allowing students to receive personalized attention while also benefiting from the richness of group interactions. It's crucial to consider the specific needs and circumstances of learners when determining the most suitable mode of instruction.